This channel is now affiliated with Wampler Guitar Pedals run by Brian Wampler. It's an online course that will teach you the do's and don'ts about creating great guitar tone. In this course, you'll find out how pedals affect amps, how pedals affect amps differently, and how different guitars and pickups can also affect your guitar tone, while also learning how to use all of these great pedals into your digital modeler and door. You can click the affiliate link below, and you can get yourself 25% discount using the code Johnny25. Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope you're well. My name's Johnny Lee. Uh, this is a question that I get asked, you know, quite quite often, really, about the high cuts and treble and where does your tone part on your guitar? Is it all the way open? Is it halfway back? Is it all right? So I will just go over the basics really, really quickly on one technique that I use for doing high cuts on the cabs, okay? And it's basically called the open door technique. So if you, I'm, I'm going to get really deep on that now. So if you imagine yourself standing in a room behind a door that is closed and on the other side of that door, there is music playing and it's kind of muffled. And when you open the door, you can hear the music clearly. That's kind of what we're going for now. Okay. So we're just going to ease that high cut back to the point where we go, there it is. And that's where we should stop. Because if we go too overboard with it, you start creating ear fatigue and you start getting frustrated and nine times out of ten you will dial in a tone that will sound like a bag of shit. So let me just quickly run through what's going on here. Uh, this patch, I mean, should I upload it for free so you can have it anyway? It's kind of generic. I've not really done anything dramatically sexy with it. I've put a simple pitch there for uh, E flat. Don't know why but we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Put a, a minotaur in there. Uh, the Rev Gen Red is what I'm using for this. Now, obviously, when you're cutting um, that high fizziness, yes, you can look at the presence and you, you can look at the treble and the resonance and whatever. I've not done that. All I've done is turn the, the hum and the ripple off and I've put the aggression down halfway. Kinky boost in between the amp and cab. Just one cab. This is in its generic form as it comes out of the pack. Simple delay. Nothing outrageous going on. A little bit of glitz just because I fancied it. And then the tile. So there's two places that we're going to cut, which will be on the cab and on the tile verb at the end. Okay. So first of all, let me show you what this sounds like just as it is. And you'll be able to hear that like horrible fizzy shittiness that we don't like. <laughs> So the first way you're doing it will be to roll that high cut back off. So we think that's okay. Go back to where we were. Okay, so that's around about where you would probably want it, depending on what your taste is. As far as the volume pot goes on my guitar, I tend to have it just past halfway. It gives me a little bit of wiggle room for soloing or if I want to kind of clean some stuff up. How I do it is I use this open door technique. So pay attention now because this, this is the important bit. So I'll play that chord and then I will actually introduce the high rather than taking it away. All right. about there. I'll show you it again. Introduce it. It's a quicker way of doing it as well. Whereas if we go back to where we were before, we were on about 11, weren't we? It just takes longer to get there, that's all it is. The distance between going from left to right or going from right to left, it's quicker to go left to right than right to left, okay? And that, that's all, it's just about workflow for me, it's just what works for me. Go 
go the other way. In and out, in and out. So yeah, you can you can also you know some people use a looper and they just kind of audition IRs and cabs and stuff like that, and that's great. But for me, it's a bit of a pain in the arse. Rather than you know just having a quick workflow of going left to right because you're easing that high in, rather than going right to left and taking it away and listening for it to fade out. For my ears and the way that I do it, because I'm clearly just a fucking weirdo. I just like to just have that open door technique of just opening the door and then go, oh, that's enough, that's enough high, that, that's it, okay, stop there. And that, that nine, times, nine times out of ten, if you can say the fucking sentence, you'll be able to get it right. Also, you can cut on the reverbs, you can also cut on some of the delays as well. I tend to sometimes, if it's a bit harsh, I'll cut a little bit off the tile on the end. I always put the tile there, I'm just used to it now. Some people really don't like it being there, but look, it is what it is. This is just a place of free presets that I make for myself and for you. Uh, and if you want to cut that, then cut that. It, it does. It's not as harsh. It's kind of just. It's slight, really, but it does make a little bit of a tonal difference if you can it. Shave a little bit off the reverb as well. Uh, also, again, when you're putting minotaurs in, that'll brighten things up. So pay attention to the tone on that. And then sometimes when we use the E flat, that can introduce a little bit of fizziness. But obviously, because we've done that cut on the cab already, everything's tickety-boo. Smooth like fucking butter over here. All right, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm not sure whether you would want this preset. Do you want it? Do you want it, though? I mean, do you want it? Just tell me that you want it. Tell me you want it bad. <sighs> Check below, and I might just have put it in the link in the description box area. All right, thanks for watching. See you then. Bye then. Thanks for coming. Bye then. Ha, ha, ha.